and uh, there's no cause for alarm. Um, <coughs> you know, sometimes there's too much, uh, and I think it's also healthy, it's part of our democracy, the freedom of uh, expression. So people, the media, at liberty to sometimes, uh, when you offer some certain advice, and they think that uh, that may not have been taken, they think, oh, this is now, uh, this is now war. No, it isn't. Uh, so, I think that, and that perhaps may, may explain uh, some of the difficulties that um, we are having. And I'm sorry that I, I think I spoke too much. I forgot uh, the vice chair and asked this issue about uh, independence. And it's good that uh, the owner of has uh, raised it uh, again. And I think a few, a few other members who have uh, spoken to it. First, is to appreciate that uh, chapter 15 of our constitution is one that deals with the, the constitutional commissions and independent offices. So, strictly speaking, there are only two independent offices if you go to chapter 15. That is the Auditor General and the Controller of Budget. So these are the notion merely because there is a usage of a word independent in the constitution does not create that as an independent office as understood in the, in our, in the, in the constitution. In fact, I think it's Article 248. It, 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 it explains uh, what, are the, what are the independent offices. So there are only those two. So the mere usage of the word uh, that, um, that the that the, so the DPP shall be independent, it shall, it shall not be subject to any other authority board. It is in making the decisions uh, that is charging so and so. It's, pro, it's, not, not, uh, yeah, it's prosecuting and it will go to charge so and so. That is the, the level of the dependence that is, re, that is required there. Um, on the other hand, if you look at Article 156, it, it also says, I don't know, it's more or less similar to what is in 157 because the functions of the DPP to prosecute are exercised also by officers subordinate to him. And the same is, 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 is to be found in uh, Article 156 with regard to the exercise of the functions uh, and the powers of the Attorney General, exercised by the Solicitor General. Uh, if you go to uh, Section 6 of the OAG Act, you see that there is that delegation is provided for in the Act, uh, both to the Solicitor General uh, and uh, the other state councils, either specifically or generally. When they do, when they do what they do, be it to appear in court, surely they do it uh, purely on the basis of the law and the evidence available. They also exercise independence. When uh, we give and we are designated as the principal legal advisor to government, in giving that advice, we do not consult uh, another another person in government. At what you, perhaps, of, of course, uh, I've, I've spoken to some people and they tell me. Uh, what do you think yourself? I said, no, 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 I've come to ask you because you are the expert in this area. What you tell me is I'll make a decision. For me, my position is as principal legal advisor to government, on the basis of the law and the constitution, it doesn't matter what anybody feels, we state them and we, and we do so in writing. So that uh, when I attend meetings, and the chairman raised the issue of me attending in cabinet, when I attend meetings, I'm merely in attendance. That time, I'm not advising. And I've told everybody who cares to, to listen that, uh, yeah, here we are in a meeting. When you want advice, please write so that you know, you say specifically what it is you want to be advised on. So that it cannot be that uh, everywhere, People are attending a, a marriage ceremony, I'm advising there. No, no, no. 
and I'm sure you may have noticed that I, I'm not, I'm not uh, feasible in uh, such functions because uh, there is no there is no work for me there. If we go, we maybe just go to dance and maybe eat and drink, uh, enjoy with everybody. When it is advised, it is independent. Indeed, when we when we are also reviewing international agreements and treaties and conventions, we have to do it purely on the basis of what is in the best interest of Kenya, as reflected in our constitution. Because again, there are certain things that we may not agree with because they are not, uh, they are not um, you know, in, a, in, in, in consonance with our constitutional you know, provisions. So, um, Honorable Makali, Honorable Vice Chair, I think that um, this, this independence is to be exercised by all, all the offices, but more particularly, given the, 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 the peculiar nature of uh, the office that, uh, that the AG occupies, it, you, cannot do, you, cannot, you cannot do it otherwise than independently. Same way that uh, the, 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 the DPP does their work. Indeed, if we are to tie that with what is the, in Article 152, uh, again, you see that it establishes the cabinet and provides very clearly that the cabinet shall consist of the president, A, deputy president, B, the attorney general, C, D, not fewer than 14 and not more than 22 cabinet secretaries. I think, again, that, that is also deliberate. And I think I thank our, the people who are doing the constitution, one of who is uh, uh, sitting there right, right in front of me, Senior Council of Tienda Molo, because they were able to, to clearly provide for that. Otherwise, the Attorney General has been treated in the past as part of, the, as a cabinet minister. In fact, on occasion, I've found people, I have attended some functions, and they say cabinet, cabinet secretaries to stand. I just look at them. I continue sitting because I'm not one such. Yeah? It's just so that people may begin to understand that uh, we, we, we are not, I'm not a cabinet secretary. In fact, in 2018, I think some of you, I'm sure many, many of you will recall, the Law Society went to court when the former president uh, attempting to assign uh, the former Attorney General, Professor Gedu Migai, some responsibility of a cabinet secretary. And the, the law society said, no, he's not a cabinet secretary. Why are you giving him this? And the court uh, uh, upheld that, uh, that objection, that the AG is not a cabinet secretary. In fact, that's why you see uh, even the office is conveniently styled Office of the Attorney General and Department of Justice, uh, because uh, we cannot perform uh, ministerial work. Uh, I hope I hope I've been able to persuade uh, my friend, uh, Honourable. So, so is it your case that then the Public Service Commission is for departments that are led by cabinet secretaries, and the Office of the Attorney General is 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 not one of such, and therefore. There is justification for it to be given independence away from PSC based on that legal reasoning. Indeed, uh, Honorable Vice Chair. And in fact, uh, if I may go to Section 21, just to read it to, to put it in perspective. The Attorney General may, in, in consultation with and on the recommendations of the Public Service Commission, appoint such number of state council as may be necessary for the proper and efficient discharge of the functions of the office. So who is to, who is to determine the number is the AG. But what they have done, the example I gave you of the meeting of 21st, because I think my predecessors continued in the old mold that they were part of that, the entire public service. They continued pleading with the Public Service Commission. Now, here it is in consultation. If you ask me, the meeting they had, they held on, that, on 11th of March 2020, 
That was the consultation. If anything else was to happen, and they say, you, you know, you need to appoint so many, you, you, you have indicated to us you have a shortage of this much. It was for the AG to determine that they are going to appoint this number. Because you are the one given the, the, the responsibility to determine the number and what is it for. For the, for the proper and efficient discharge of the functions. Some of which are, as I, as I say, civil litigation, international, uh, international law division, uh, public trustee, uh, registry, you know, registrar general's um, uh, department, and you know, several of those ones. Many of which, some of them, of course, are not even public facing. Of course, marriages, uh, registrar societies, and uh, business, business uh, registration services is public facing and uh, maybe civil litigation to an extent. But no, many of the other functions that we perform are actually not public facing, like legal advisory, international law, except when now we have to advance this to, to come to parliament. Many of them are really quite uh, in-house things, inward looking, because the advisory is to only one client, the government. Uh, the AG is also, the, if, you, if you go to Article 156, you see the AG is, um, pro, is provided to be the defender of public interest. And uh, decisions have been made uh, by various uh, courts in this country where people have wanted to, to, be, to be enjoined in suits and they don't know why. why If, if they...